Hi, do you hope you want my name's Mr. Fruit and in today's video I'm gonna give you one pro tip for every tank in Overwatch 2. If you want a quick, simple, easy way to up your game on any of these characters, stay tuned. First up, we have D.Va. D.Va can actually toggle her defense matrix so that it doesn't have to be wasted all at once. This can allow you to better predict and eat ultimates, projectiles, and other things that would help the enemy win a fight. The only issue is, this toggle feature is only locked after hitting platinum or above in competitive. It's been observed that gold elo and below don't actually have this feature unlocked, so don't worry, it's not a skill issue. You're just being punished for being placed in an ELO where you obviously don't belong. Next we have Doomfist. If you want to play Doomfist, but you don't want your team to flame you since they want to play the game not 4v5, well here's a newly found combo that actually lets him one combo any 300 HP or less character in the game. To start, you'll need to go to your settings and make sure your Doomfist specific in-game sensitivity is 36.08%. Apparently there's a bug that makes him do less damage, it's tied to some sort of frame rate, and changing the sensitivity negates it. After that's done, start by looking up 75 degrees and activating Seismic Slam. At the apex of the jump, use Power Block and Rocket Punch simultaneously, and if done correctly, you'll realize you're better off alt f and uninstalling the game than playing Doomfist. Next, we have one of my favorite, Junker Queen. Junker Queen is what is known as an off tank. This term was originally coined in MMOs and is defined as a player in a raid or party that concentrates on taking pressure off the main tank usually by drawing off extra, usually weaker mobs. What that means in Overwatch 2 is since you don't have a second tank to play around, you're actually just a DPS character with more health. So if you fill in the tank, don't worry, you can still play DPS. If you lose, the only reasonable next step is to cite an actual DPS or support diff, obviously. Next, Overwatch's favorite centaur, Orisa. Orisa used to be a musician. We know this because she used to have bongos in Overwatch 1. However, she no longer plays on the bongos, thus making it clear that she no longer knows how to play said bongos. She can also be seen with a barrier and gravity pull ability. These are gone too, which would leave us to believe that both her barrier and gravity pull ability were gifts granted to her by the bongos. Next, we have the stalwart Reinhardt. Reinhardt has a couple new additions to his kit, like an extra fire strike and the ability to cancel his charge. The pro tip is, that's a bait. They're trying to stop you from getting that really cool charge pin kill on the enemy's backline, even after your team professed in voice comms, Ryan, please don't charge in again. We need you on payload. You got a sick pick. Don't let them take that away from you. Because as we all know, half a charge is no charge at all. My Overwatch 1 main, Roadhog. Roadhog's ultimate now functions differently than before. It no longer fires automatically, but instead... Okay, look, the real pro tip is, if your healers just suck, and let's be honest, most, <clears throat> the best thing you can do is switch to Roadhog so you can finally get some healing, even if it's just self-healing, for more guaranteed damage. Next, Sigma. Sigma was released later in Overwatch's one life cycle, specifically after its biggest peak of popularity. So a lot of returning players don't really know how to play against or use him. Well, here's the TLDR. For the love of God, please stop shooting his suck, aka Kinetic Grasp. You're giving these men free shields and a lot of them. So please just, just stop. He also gets feet pick buffs. Winston. Winston is a genetically engineered gorilla. Gorillas are the largest living primates and have a clear distinction separating them from monkeys. Monkeys have tails. Gorillas, i.e. Winston, don't. So they're classified as an ape. That's why everyone refers to Winston as monkey. Wrecking Ball, aka Hammond, aka Hamster, can be a really tough character to get a grasp on, or to fully understand his kit. What you should know is that the adaptive shield scales according to how many enemies are surrounding you. You get a 100 HP shield for initial activation, but another 100 HP for every enemy surrounding you when you activate it. This means you can get up to a 600 HP shield in a fight. Combine this with his other ability, Pile Driver, allowing him to slam into the ground and launch enemies upward, and you can dive off the map even quicker to switch to another tank. Zarya. <laughs> Zarya. The bane of most people's existence, seemingly, at the launch of Overwatch 2. I've actually got two tips for Zarya. There's a tip for those who struggle to fight her, and another tip for Zarya players. For those struggling to play against Zarya, there's an easier way to kill her. Whenever she uses one of her bubble abilities on herself or an ally, shoot it as much as you can while it's up. Doing so will actually make the bubble disappear, and she'll have to wait for another one to come off cooldown. And the pro tip for Zarya players... You're welcome. Hopefully these tips will help you level up your tank gameplay in Overwatch 2. If they don't, I'm sorry, but there's no hope for you. I have to diagnose you with low elo -itis. I'm afraid it's terminal. So good luck out there in your queues.